I've gotten some questions lately asking me about the choline in Tian Chi. I put choline in Tian Chi because that's how your brain makes acetylcholine, which is the neurotransmitter responsible for the speed by which your brain processes information. So it's an essential nutrient for brain function. It's an essential nutrient for memory. It's essential to the health of your nerve cells to have choline in your diet, and that's why I put it in Tian Chi. Now the question I get is, does choline cause cancer? Now, you know, I almost want to start laughing when I read this, and then I know the book because one of the people that asked me this referred me back to a certain page in a certain book, and I read that page, and I cannot believe that someone would actually put this in a book, but on that, in that book, and the book was called How Not to Die, basically it said that they did a self-reported study. In other words, they took a bunch of information from people that tried to remember what they ate in the last year and wrote it all down and sent it in. And then they went through this information and they figured out um, that most of the people that had cancer ate certain protein foods which basically are every protein food known to man. <laughs> they ate chicken, they ate eggs, they ate red meat, they ate pork, and they ate fish. So all of those foods have choline in it. And so the author decided that choline is associated with cancer. Wow. He could have said shoes are associated with cancer because everybody that took that study was probably wearing shoes when they sat down and did it. So, I mean, I can't believe that that made it into a book, that choline would be associated with cancer. It's an essential nutrient for your brain. Your brain will not process information without choline, without the ability to make the neurotransmitters that are associated with choline. It won't be able to build new nerve cells and to repair damaged nerve cells without choline. It's essential for your brain. Every single person that's ever been diagnosed with Alzheimer's has been diagnosed with a deficiency of choline and the ability to make uh, acetylcholine in their brain and have access to it. All the drugs made to treat Alzheimer's work on an enzyme that clears acetylcholine out of your brain too soon and you don't have access to it. This is how important choline is to brain function and to put this general idea in a book um, just blows my mind.